Okay, sir, we've arrived at Urso Farm. Excellent work, pilot. Now circle around a couple of times, and then land extremely far away. Far away, sir? Yes, land like 400 yards away, and we'll all walk together in a straight line. It will look amazing. Wouldn't that, like, give them plenty of time to run away or something, or hide? No, it will be intimidating, and everyone is going to love it. What did you say? Nobody can understand you guys, for real. You don't have to scramble your words all of the time. I said I don't really want to walk 400 yards. Yeah, me either. Okay, fine, we'll land right at that doorstep. Jeez, why don't you take the epicness out of everything? Caleb. You will never win! You'll need the structural plans for the Death Star. And I know there is a data archive on Scarif. But that would be a total suicide mission. And I'd never send my daughter into harm's way. So instead, I just copied the plans to a disk and hit them with the pilot body along with this message. The plans are with Bodhi? Oh yes, the pilot! He was carrying these plans. Your father was a wise man. Jim, we have to go. Save the rebellion. Save the dream. Oh, and save your message. Jen, you left it behind. Oh my gosh. You must be more careful, my dear. Thank you so much. No problem. Now have a good trip, escaping the impending tidal wave of death. Ah, uh, you not coming with us? No, Jen. I will run no longer. It makes no sense. I feel like you just got here, but whatever. Peace out. I make no sense. Bye! Father! Crap! We're surrounded! Oh, it's me. Status. Let's get out of here. So, I'm still in command. Feel in charge. But I I built you a Death Star. And this gives you power over me? I, I, I can't breathe. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations, Director. <sighs> Dad jokes? Really? Dad jokes? What do you mean? Why would you say that? Do you think I'm a father? No, Lord Vader. It, it's just... What you said was... is what they call a... a dad joke. Mm-hmm. Like, a bad pun. Oh. So... not a father. How... unfortunate. Because if I was a father, I'd be very excited about it. I am one with the Force, and the Force is with me. I am one with the Force, and the Force is with me. Rod, no! I am one with the Force, and the Force is with me. And now, I have a lightsaber. What the? Where did that come from? Generally, let me borrow her kyber crystal. So I made my staff a lightsaber. Ah! Where? Don't worry about it. I'm a Jedi now, and that's all there is to it. Four. Yes. <laughs> you see that? I totally threw a grenade in there. Holy crap! We only have like a few moments left to live. You you wanna make out or something? Yes. Congratulations, you are being rescued. Yay! So. Are you serious? You were about to make out with her. Do you know where she's been? How are you still alive? I told you our chances for survival were under 30%, which is why I preemptively copied my memory banks into that other droid we hacked earlier. Duh. Wow, that's really smart, Kay. And we're all still alive, too! And I'm the Jedi! Really? How in the world? No time to explain, we gotta go. Hurry up! All right. I'm a leaf on the wind. I'm a leaf on the wind!
There's something different about you talking. Did you lose weight? No? A new haircut, perhaps? No, that's not it. Oh, you know what? It's the digital face. I see it now. You may admire when ready. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. And a special thanks goes to Audible for making this episode possible. Audible is great for me when I'm working on my art with my eyes and my hands, but my ears are just sitting there, not doing anything for anybody. Audiobooks. Hmm, maybe I'll check out some Star Wars lore. There's lots to choose from. If you don't know what Audible is, they have an unmatched selection of audiobooks, and they are offering How It Should Have Been viewers like yourself a free book of your choice with a 30-day trial membership. Just go to audible.com slash hizzy now to check it out. We'll see you next time.